Ooh, yes, the shine. Look at the shine on that nice coin there on the end of this 20 cent coin roll. I'd love a nice shiny bubble area. This one's got a little bubble there. Worth a, can be worth up to $55 though. So I'm not selling that. I'm holding on to it for sure. That's the only one I've found so far. But that's a nice shiny coin. Um, let's check them out. And let's see if we can find a year 2010 coin. And we can check for that bubble error. Um, someone was saying the other day in the comments to one of my videos that um, they found about six of them. So... Whew, I reckon that's good going. Good going for sure. Ooh, 2021. I'll let it go, that one, because I've got a lot of those 2021. Oh, here we go, 2010. Let's check for that bubble error. Oh, it's not there. So you're looking over here on the coin. You're looking above the claw, about there. You're looking for an extra bubble in the metal, but hmm, not on that one. That's all right. 2008, you look for the wave gaps. You look at this point of wave coming in. It touches a platypus's head and just about all of them. But some of them, the point stops back a bit further and there's a gap there. So the 2008 wave gap, some prices, $2.70 to $4.85, if you can find that. Ooh, pretty dirty. I was just sort of checking to see if it was a Canadian minted 1981, but very dirty. 2010 taxation, nope. Um, I was hoping that might have been one that I could check for bubble errors, but it wasn't. Ooh, 71 lower mintage coins. So a dollar to fifty dollars is some recent prices on these coins. So only 8.9 million minted. Um, so in good condition, they can command a fair price. 1971 20 cent coin. Last coin, let's check the date on it. Boom. 1978. Good year. Good year.